Hello, hello. Hello, guys. Good night. Okay, let's see. Good night, everybody. Good night, Lisette. Juan Carlos, good night. Good night, teachers. Goodbye. Hi, guys. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. Hi, hi. Perfect, guys. Perfect. Very nice. So, guys, um, Bye -bye. if the rest can help me, please. Perfect. If you can turn on your cameras, that will be nice. Thank you. So, guys, um, well, yesterday we saw a topic. So, do you remember, right, that we were talking about adverse of frequency, right? So, guys, uh, well, let me first of all share you what do we have for tonight, okay? So, let's see. Uh, let me share you the screen for you. So, guys, well, today, tonight, we are going to finish the unit number four, right? So unit number four must be finished tonight, okay? So then, well, the next week, guys, yeah, is the last week, okay? The last one. So next week, guys, we are going to have, you know, unit number five, we are going to finish, and then we are going to have the exam, okay? So that will be everything that we are going to have next week, okay? So guys, let me share you the presentation for you. So yesterday, guys, we were discussing about this, right? Do you remember? Adverse of frequency, right? So they you say, sometimes I eat breakfast. I always eat breakfast. You remember? We have always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never, right? So you remember that we were discussing about this? So guys, for tonight, I have these questions for you, okay? So we have the first one. It says, how often do you brush your teeth, right? We have how often do you eat pupusas? How often do you read a book? How often do you wash the dishes? How often do you study English? And how often do you go to church? You, you know what is church, right, guys? Do you know it? Do you know what is church in Spanish? Yes? No? Iglesia. Perfect. Yeah, iglesia. So church means iglesia. Perfect, guys. So, guys, I'm going to send you this um, picture, you know, with this question to the WhatsApp group, okay? So we are going to discuss them, okay? So... Let me create the groups, guys, so you can discuss with your classmate, okay? Don't be afraid, guys. Don't be shy. I mean, your classmates, they know the same as you, okay? No tengan pena al hablar, okay, chicos? Porque recuerden que practicando es como vamos a aprender, right? So let's see, guys. Uh, let's make a group of three. Let's see. Okay. Create... So, guys, I'm going to divide you into groups. So, if you can accept the invitation, please. We are going to practice these uh, questions. I have already sent you to WhatsApp, okay? Ya les envié estas preguntas al WhatsApp, chicos. So, if you can help me accept them, please. Okay, let's see. Okay, Irving, welcome. Uh, Irving, I sent some photo. Well, envié una foto con las preguntas que vamos a discutir, right? So let me assign you to a group. Déjame asignarte a un grupo, please, so you can accept it. Okay.
Hello, Maritza. I am Salmi, but I'm saying Nando al grupo right now, so you can accept it. Bye. Okay, perfect. Hello, Edwin. Hello. Uh, we are practicing. Hello, no worry, it's okay. Uh, estamos practicando unas preguntas, Edwin. Eh, mandé la foto al grupo de WhatsApp con las preguntas. Déjame asignarte un grupo, okay? Okay. Okay, so you can accept it now. So, um, let's see. Welcome, welcome, Iliana. Iliana, we are working in groups. Estamos trabajando en grupos, Iliana. Mandé una foto al grupo de WhatsApp para que puedan practicar, ¿ok? Déjame asignarte a un grupo para que puedan ¿ok? practicar. Ok, está bien. Perfect. Let's see. Welcome, welcome, Elise. Hello. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening, Elise. We are practicing, Elise, in rooms. So let me assign you to our room, okay? Estamos practicando una conversación. Eh, mandé la foto al grupo de WhatsApp, okay? So, déjame asignarte un grupo, okay? Okay. Perfect. So you can practice, okay? So let's see.
Welcome, welcome back, guys. Welcome. So let's wait for the rest of your classmates, okay, Edwin? Just wait a minute. They are leaving the rooms, okay? So, well, you know, these questions were about the topic that we were discussing yesterday, right? So, adverse of frequency, right? You remember that we say, I always eat breakfast, sometimes I eat breakfast. I've never, right? And that we have this a chart, right? That always was 100%, right? Then we have usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never, right? Never, nunca, right? So, hello, guys. Welcome back. Welcome, everybody. So, perfect, guys. Now we are going to discuss, guys, some of the questions, okay? So, let's see. I'm going to show some volunteers here. So the first question goes going to, let's see. Oh, Ulisse. Okay, perfect. Ulisse, tell me, how often do you brush your teeth? Uh, the microphone, Ulisse. Uh, my teeth? Yeah, tell me. Okay. I... Uh, Three times or three times a day, or okay. three times all day. Three times during all day. The, during the day. Okay. Oh, perfect. <laughs> okay. Very nice. So that's really good. So you must have very good teeth. So perfect, Lisa. Thank you. Now let's say let's let's just uh girl for tonight. So let's see. Maritza, tell me, how often do you eat pupusas? Tell me. Casi um, nunca. Casi nunca, okay. How do you say no? Aquí sería hardly ever, right? Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Yeah, so you can say, for example, remember that yesterday we saw this class, you can start... I hardly ever eat pupusas, okay? I hardly ever eat pupusas. Perfect, very, very nice, Maritza, very nice. Perfect, thank you. Now let's see, uh, let's choose Juan Carlos. Tell me, how often do you read a book? Okay. Um, I sometimes read a book uh, one time a week. Okay, one time a week, one time per week. Very nice, Juan Carlos. Thank you. Now let's see, let's choose another one. So let's see who do we have here tonight. Irving, Irving, tell me, how often do you wash the dishes? Yes, Irving. Hello, Irving. Uh, I guess you are having internet issues, Irving. Hello, here Hi. I am. Okay, perfect. I have problems with the uh, microphone. It's okay. <laughs> How often do you wash the dishes? Is the question? Yeah. Yes. Uh, sometimes, maybe two times a week. Okay, perfect. Very nice. Now let's see. Choose Iliana. Iliana Mendoza. Tell me, how often do you study English? I study English um, usually. Okay, I usually study English, you can say. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, Ileana, thank you then. Okay, perfect. Now let's see, let's choose the last one for tonight. So let's see, Edwin, tell me, 
How often do you go to the church? One time a week. One time a week. Okay, perfect. Very nice. Do you know what is church, right, guys? Everybody? So, yes. Iglesia. 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 Perfect. Thank you, guys. So, uh, very nice, guys. I know that you always go to the church, right? Todos aquí vamos a la iglesia, right? <laughs> no, I had some of you. So, perfect, guys. Now, let's see. I'm going, you know, uh, to show you this part, okay? So, this one, guys, here we have some readings, okay? Because we need to practice the reading part, okay? Tenemos que practicar la parte del reading, la lectura, right? So, guys, we have this one that say eating for good luck. Good luck, you know what this means, right? Good luck. For example, you are going to play um, a football, uh, uh, well, a football player team, a football player team, you're going to play, um, and you say, good luck, I hope you win, right? Or good luck if you're going, you know, to do an, an exam, good luck. Good luck means buena suerte, right? Good luck. So guys, we have here one New Year's Day. Many people eat special foods for good luck in New Year. So guys, estas comidas son para New Year, right? For New Year. So we have here different countries that they used to eat this, right? So what we're going to do, guys, lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a trabajar en estos reading, okay? But how? We are going to work in groups, okay? Vamos a trabajar en grupos. Everybody is going to read everything. And then one per group is going to, you know, explain what you understood, okay? Vamos a trabajar en grupos. Vamos a leer todo esto, chicos. Luego, al final que, ter que ya terminemos, uno, un representante por grupo, va a explicar, okay? Lo que entendieron de cada una de estas, okay? O si no, van a explicar solo la que yo les di, ¿ok? Para ver si todos hemos trabajado, ¿ok? So, guys, let me divide you in groups right now. Lo voy a dividir en grupos. Eh, les voy a mandar esta picture, esta foto. Pero ustedes también le pueden tomar una screenshot aquí si ustedes quieren. Déjenme dividir los guys en grupos para que trabajemos, ¿ok? Everybody understood what we are going to do? ¿Todos entendimos lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Very nice. So let me open the rooms, guys. So let's accept, please. Accedemos la invitación para trabajar, okay? Hello, George. Um, can you accept the invitation? Uh, let's. Me salí por estar revisando lo de WhatsApp. Ah, uh, uh, but do you have the invitation? Tienes la invitación ahí para pendiente. Okay. Okay, perfect.
Hello, host mom. Hello, teacher. Hi. Um. Well, you were not in any group. I'm not in any group, right? No, incorporando me voy, teacher. Ah, okay, perfect. So, bueno, las indicaciones están. Ya las envié en el grupo de WhatsApp. Déjame asignar entonces a uno de los grupos que tengo, ¿ok? Perfecto, gracias. Perfect, let me see. Las la personas comen mochi eh, y ahí entre paréntesis dice es pastel de arroz. Hello, guys. El año nuevo. Hello, perdón, por, perdón por interrumpirlos. Este, ¿Cómo vamos? Ya vamos terminando. Eh, a revisar el último diálogo y vamos. Ok, perfect. You can continue. It's ok. Perfect. Ok. Ok. The coin for right. look. Uh, trying to find the coin for look. O sea, traten de encontrar la moneda para yeah. tener suerte. Ah, uh, yeah. Y dinero, en, el, en, el, en el dinero. Año, o sea, en el nuevo año. Yeah. Hello, perfect. guys. Hi. Hello. Hi. ¿Cómo vamos? Ya casi vamos terminando. Uh, right. So, difficult some words in this text. Ok, perfecto, it's ok, no te preocupes. Everyone is going, well, todos están todavía trabajando, so you we have like como five minutes, ok? Ok, okay. thank you. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Hello, guys, ¿cómo vamos? Aquí vamos. <laughs> ya vamos casi por los últimos, guys. Ya vamos leyendo casi los últimos. Los últimos, sí. más o menos. Ok, sí. perfecto. La, la, la última, no, no mucho la entendemos. La última, uh, some Americans from Southern States. Esa. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, me imagino que uh, los so, Black IPs, esa no entienden. Oh. Eso, correcto. Los Black IPs uh -huh. uh, es una banda, no. Uh -huh. las, las Black IPs eh, son como los. Las le, ¿cómo se dice? Son como las legumbres, no, son como los chícharos negros, ¿ok? Esos son. Como chícharos. Ya, son esos, pero los negros. Ya, yeah, da agua. Bueno, sí, lo vamos a tomar, ok. Ok, sí. perfecto. Very nice. Perfect. Okay. Bueno, entonces entendieron, más o menos.
Okay, welcome. Welcome, welcome, guys. Welcome. So, welcome, everybody. Welcome. So, guys, time is finished. Okay, so let's see. We are going to start with the exposition, guys. So, let's start, you know, with the first group. And um, in the first group, I have Carlos, Daniel, Iliana, and Irving. So, who is going to explain? Explain, guys. Quién va a explicar? Irvin. Irvin. Okay, perfect. Irvin. So, explain about these readings that we have here, please. Uh, we have one specific, or we can choose uh, one topic. Uh, yeah. In this case, let's see. We are going to talk about um, Spain. This one. Spain. Okay, yeah. that topic to say uh, in Spain or in uh, Latin American countries, and the people have the tradition to eat at 12 grades at midnight for uh, it symbols uh, one grade for one mode to have good luck. Uh, maybe everybody here in Salvador, maybe one time. And yours uh, do this or did it um i don't know one more maybe it's it's, it's a symbol of uh the fight and, and the hope okay perfect now um Irby, now tell me a little bit about one new year's day in japan this one japan yeah oh Japan. That say that people in Japan uh, eat rice cake for symbol the strength. It's for uh, have a maybe the strength in the job with the problems in the families and I don't know. It's for uh, how do you say affrontar? Uh, affront. Affront the problems of the life. Maybe. Okay. And um, Irving, what are rice cakes in Spanish? Ah, uh, it's un pastel de arroz. Perfect. Thank you, Irving. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. So thank yes. you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, group number one. So now let's move on to group number three. So I have, no, sorry, number two, sorry. I have Edwin, Elisa, and George. So who is going to be? you know, the one who is going to spawn, yeah? Who is going to present, guys? ¿Quién va a pasar, chicos? Edwin. Edwin, perfect, Edwin. So now, Edwin, I want you to tell me about this one. Some Chinese... So, mm -hmm. uh, Chinese people... Uh, Right, it's interesting because the Chinese people eat tangerines um, and with the creencias, ¿cómo se diría? Uh, creencias is faith. What? Your faith uh, are, are, I don't remember, around. It's como around, it's como redondo, right? Yeah, round, exactly, yeah. That is we because uh, they face the wrong tangers are to the beginning and the end. It's como... Uh, como right uh, until we meet, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know what. <laughs> okay, so now Edwin, you can explain me about this one. Some Americans from Southern State, this one. That's very difficult, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, uh, so the Americans are from Southern, right? Uh, they eat 
the black eyed page. Peace. Peace. And rice with color green. Color green, right? Yeah. Because they face is the green are like a dollars, right? It's for money in the year. Okay. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you, Edwin. Thank you, group number two for the exposition. Thank you. So now let's finish with group number three. We have Juan Carlos, Lisette, and Maritza. Who's going to uh, make the presentation, guys? Carlos. Carlos. Okay, okay perfect, Juan Carlos. Okay. Let's explain <laughs> this one. Jewish. Jewish. Oh, okay. It's a Jewish custom to eat apple, apple with honey for a sweet new year. Um, hace una referencia a las costumbres judías, entiendo que comen manzana, dice, con miel para un nuevo año, dice, para un dulce nuevo año, algo así, le entiendo. Como una referencia de la, de la costumbre. Okay, a reference, yeah. They eat apples, <coughs> right? For new years, right? So, um, what else can you tell me about this? Do you find any extra information about this? So that's all. Oh. Do you not if do no. you have any extra information about this or no? No. Okay. So now, can you explain me about this Greeks? Greeks, uh, griego. Uh, yeah. En griegos, eh, la palabra siguiente no le entiendo, no, no le veo bien qué es. It. O cómo se. It, la, la siguiente, ahí de, la siguiente no entiendo la. I say basil. Uh, is, well, basilopita, es basilopita. Basilopita. Yeah, is the bread. Bread with, um, with a koi inside, is everyone tries to be, to, to find. To find the coin for looking at money and the New Year. La comida griega dice, si comida griega, más o menos se refiere al doxilopita, me parece que es un tipo de comida, un tipo de pan que tiene, como que le incluyen una moneda y se para la buena suerte y el dinero para el nuevo año. Yeah, exactly. Referencia, referencia. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So, well, well, one, then, thank you very much then for that one. So, guys, um, thank you to all the groups, you know, for this presentation. I know you didn't have enough time and there were many readings. However, guys, you know, what is important about this, if you, if you understood, okay? Lo que es importante de esta actividad, guys, es si ustedes entendieron lo que leían, right? Because that's what matters, okay? Estaban entendiendo lo que leían, right? Estaban analizando. Because if you understood, guys, what you say, well, what this reading were about is because you have a good English level, okay? Si entendí, entendían, chicos, es porque tienen un nivel de inglés que ya va avanzado, okay? Ya están yendo avanzado, okay? That's really good. And if you didn't understand, si no entendieron, pero entendieron al menos unas palabras, pues igual siempre estamos siendo, ¿verdad? Estamos uh, mejorando. Y si ustedes estaban buscando palabras, chicos, mientras leían, that's good, okay? That's good because that's how we learn. Es bastante bueno porque es como aprendemos, right? So, perfect, guys. Now, you know, I have here, well, we all have this exercise. Todos tenemos este exercise, okay? So, guys, in the platform, we have this exercise, okay? So this one, we are going to do it, but individually, okay? So I want everybody to go to the to your platforms right now, okay? Quiero que todos vayamos a la plataforma ahora mismo para finish this exercise, okay? For the ones that we haven't finished, right? So now let me ask you something. Who, well, who has finished this exercise. Quienes han terminado este ejercicio, chicos? Raise your hand, please, in, in Zoom. Okay, Daniel say he has finished, perfect. And the rest? 
Now what? Okay, perfect. That's nice. Do not worry, guys. So we are going to finish this one, okay? So please, everybody, go to your platform, please. Todos vayamos a la plataforma, please. So we are going to finish this one, okay? So let's see. They are, okay, six people, okay? So I'm going to show six people, guys. That's why I'm, I'm asking you to go to the platform, okay? Voy a escoger a cinco personas que me van a, bueno, seis personas que me van a ayudar a responder this one, okay? So guys, uh, let's start, okay? Let's give five minutes, okay? Cinco minutos para que terminemos porque ya leímos esto, right? Well, even the cinco minutos porque en lo que usted va a la plataforma e ingresa, right, guys? So let's see, guys. I know you can do it because we have read this one, right? We have read this one. Ya leímos todos estos, chicos. Así que ustedes ya deben de saber la respuesta, right? So please go to your platform and try to do the exercise. Meanwhile, para mientras, los que, sí ya, los que ya terminamos este ejercicio, igual prepárense porque puede que los escoja, right? And e igual, si, if you have any question, guys, about these things, please let me know. Si tienen alguna pregunta acerca de algo, una palabra, let me know, okay? And guys, let me tell you something that this week, you know, well, today, tomorrow we are not going to have classes, right? Mañana no tenemos clases, remember. Mañana es asueto, so for the ones that are going to rest, para los que van a tener día off, very nice, guys. Congratulations, right? So, and happy Father's Day. Si aquí un padre, happy Father's Day, right? So, well, I remember that here are some guys that they have children, right? So, happy Father's Day. Um, so, let's wait, guys. Let's see. Next, well, la siguiente semana, chicos, next week, we are going also to work in unit number five, okay? Next week, next week is the last one, okay? La siguiente semana es la última, right, guys? So, next week, we are going to finish this module, okay? Vamos a terminar los módulos, right, guys? So, section, next week, we are going to start with this one, okay? We are going to finish all the exercises in unit number five, and we are going to make the exam, okay? The last day, you know, of the last week, we are going to make the last exam, okay? So be ready, okay? So let's see, guys. So let's start, okay, guys? Let's start, you know, answering this one, okay? From session number four. So let's see. Okay, for the ones that hasn't finished, come on, okay, hurry up. Let's see. So perfect. So let's see. I'm going to choose a uh, let's see a volunteer randomly here. Okay. So let's see. Um, Hosman. Hosman. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi. Can you help me answering this one, please? Some Chinese people eat Tangerians. Tangerians are. Round like year. Round like years. Perfect. Thank you, Osman. Thank you. Now let's see this one. The second one. Let's ask, let's see. Uh, Lisette. Lisette, tell me, what is the answer here? Some Jewish people eat apples with... Lisette. Are we still connected? Aquí estoy, teachers. Hi, hello. Lisette, can you help me with this one, please? What is the answer for this one? Eh, honey, 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 honey for a sweet year. Honey, uh -huh. Okay, let's see if this one is the correct answer, okay? <laughs> so now let's see. We have this one, number three. Number three, let's see. Eulise, help me with this one, please. Someday. Hola. Hi. Can you help me with this one, please? Hey, no puedo ver ahorita. 
Yo tengo un problema ahorita. Estoy All en right. esa. Oh, okay. Then no worry then. Then Daniel, help me with this one, please. A coin inside. A coin inside. Greeks eat basilop, basilopita, sorry, bread with a coin inside. That's the name of their bread, right? It's the name of the pan, right? Basilopita. That's really strange. So, and well, number four, let's see. George, help me with this one, please. In Spain. Spain, Spain. people. Perfect. Thank you. Now let's see this one. The Japanese eat. Let's see. Um, who do we have? Maritza, help me with this one, please. Rice. The Japanese eat rice. K for. No sé. K for strength in the new year. In the new year. Okay, perfect. And okay. finally, we are and here in the last one. Finally. So, um, so, um, uh, let's see, Carlos. Carlos, can you help me with this one, please? Okay. Some American is black. If fish, black AS fish are, are coins. Coins, okay, perfect. So let's see, guys. Okay, so let's see if we all okay, perfect, very nice, guys. So we got it. So, guys, with this exercise, we finish in unit number four. Okay, con este ejercicio terminamos la unit number four, right? So, guys, welcome to unit number five. That is the last one for this module, okay. Para este módulo, la unit number five es la última, right? So, you know, let's make, you know, like a little introduction, okay? Vamos a ver un poco para ir avanzando, right? So, guys, we are going to see about the seasons. You know what seasons means, right? In Spanish, seasons. Estaciones. Estaciones, perfect. So, guys, in your home, en su casa, ayúdenme, right? Pro pronunciando esto con el micrófono apagado, right? So, let's see. Winter, winter, spring, spring, okay? No digan S, okay? S, pronounce, pronunciamos la S como el sonido, S, S, spring, okay? Spring, summer, summer, no summer, summer, summer. This one, guys. Esta se pronuncia de dos formas, right? Les recomiendo mejor dicho, pronunciar esta, right? Porque es la más común. Fall, okay? Fall, fall. And it's autumn, okay? Autumn, otoño, right? Otoño, winter, invierno, spring, primavera, summer, verano, okay? This one. These are the seasons, right? So let's, you know, this is just a reminder, okay? Eso solo es un recordatorio. Yo sé que ustedes ya, la mayoría sabemos los seasons, right? Winter, spring, fall, summer, right? So now, guys, let's move on because here I have some new vocabulary, okay? So we have a sports, okay? Tenemos deportes, chicos. So let's see, we have a sport and games. So we have different kinds of a sport, right? For example, we have soccer. Okay, soccer, you know, soccer is football, right? It's the same, it's, uh, in, bueno, nosotros decimos en El Salvador pelota, right? Jugar pelota, right? Soccer. We have basketball, basketball, okay? We have American football, okay? Baseball, okay? Juguemos de batear, it's baseball, right? Baseball. We have boxing, okay, boxing, okay. Volleyball, volleyball. Tennis, tennis. Rugby, okay, rugby, it's a play. I mean, it is not usually here, but yeah, it's a sport, right? 
ice hockey, okay? Ice hockey, okay? Skiing, okay, skin. Lifting weights, okay? Lifting weights is hacer pesas, right guys? Hacer pesas in, in the gym. Lifting weights at the gym, okay? Surfing, okay, surfing. Swimming, okay, swimming. Horse racing, okay, horse racing. Carrera de caballo, right? Uh, we have this one. Cycling, okay, cycling. This is a very common sport in El Salvador, right? Cycling, soccer, volleyball, basketball, baseball, right? Now let's see, guys. We have these different questions that we have here for tonight, right? Before finishing. So let me ask some of you this question, okay? So let's see. Um, let's choose. Well, Carlos, he wants to participate. So, Carlos, tell me, what's your favorite sport and why? Teacher. Yeah. Uh, and I have a question on the, the picture. Uh, and this one. Yeah. Which one? What, what is what is the difference in American football and rugby? Okay, yeah. American football, I mean, they used to play, especially in the US, right? In Estados Unidos. Ellos es el que llevan la pelota así, right? Rugby yeah. es pateado, right? Es casi solo pateado. Tengo que entender wow. que es solo pateado, right? No sé mucho de este okay. juego, pero sí, más o menos sí sé cuál es, right? But it's different from this one, yeah. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, perfect. So, well, that was interesting. Guys, do you have any question about this vocabulary or about this one, about the seasons? No? Okay, so let's ask some of you, okay? So let's start. George, George, hello. So. Hello. Hi, so tell me, what's your favorite sport and why? Perdón, perdón. Yeah, the, this, yeah, this question. What's your favorite sport and why? Uh, soccer. Soccer, why? Why do you like soccer? Por qué? Why? Why? Yeah, why, por qué? Por qué? Uh, you can say because popular because it's popular popular because okay. it's popular yeah perfect perfect thank you george thank you so guys um always that you have a question with why cada vez que tengo una pregunta que diga why chicos significa por qué right y ustedes van a responder usando because Okay, because significa por qué, pero para respuesta, okay? Why es por qué para pregunta. Because por qué para respuesta, okay? Why do you like ice cream? ¿Por qué te gusta el helado? Because it's delicious. Porque es delicioso, right? Perfect. Nice guys. So now let's see. Uh, let's ask. Let's see who wants. Okay. Let's ask uh, Juan Carlos. Tell me, what's your favorite season and why? Okay. Um, my season favorite is uh, summer. Why? why? Because uh, every day is soon. Soon. Soleado, ¿cómo se dice? Sunny. Sunny. Sunny, yeah, because sunny. every day is sunny. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now let's see the last one. Uh, let's ask Maritza. Tell me, how often do you play sports? Hi. Hi. So tell me, how often do you play sports? Sports. Con qué frecuencia hace deporte? Never. 
Never. Okay, so you say, I never play sports, okay? I never play a store. Perfect, sport. thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Marita. Yeah. So guys, uh, well, time is so uh, tonight. So let's see you. Bueno, nos vemos oh. hasta la siguiente semana, okay, guys? La siguiente semana es la última. So we are almost ready, okay, guys? So happy Father's Day and have a good night, okay? Bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank see you, you the next day. Good night. Bye.